know, it's okay when a work is bad. You add, they ask you to make a Mickey Mouse and you make a Jimi Hendrix and then the client will of course say, I don't want to have this, I want to have a Mickey Mouse mosaic, so... Welcome to my art journey, welcome to my life. This is art blog 266. Okay, it was nice the last week. I was very busy. You saw, you must have seen everything in art blogs that I have uploaded here. On this channel, it was nice to running around and until, you know, midnight, until the morning and then every day, every day, spring and stuff, stenciling. Uh, it was cool, but Today I'm in a studio, nothing to do outside, which is nice, but I've got this kind of, uh, like, you know, in space, I am just had a um, very strong fall on the ground. This is what I feel, because um, I'm doing nothing, this is what I feel, actually. Today I thought we need to talk about the dark side of this. Art commissions and things like that, it's actually not a dark part but there is a part what you cannot see let me go this way and with this I can also cover some stuff that I told you in the earlier vlogs which is the first one there was a commission actually a commission which was it was not a commission uh, as you remember someone told me uh, to work in their a huge space as an art director you remember that um, it was like kind of a showroom it was damn huge and I I was called to work in there as an art director we didn't sign it anything I went to there two or three times I'm not sure about that and then then was absolutely silence you know no call at all since one month I called them last week about, you know, what's going on, are we going on with this work and they said actually almost nothing, uh, they didn't say no, they didn't say yes and this is uh, one of the dark sides of this kind of art commission work, you know, this is something what people don't like to talk about or even don't talk about never you can't hear it's just people are showing their success you know like i did last week doing jobs and in a cool way and stuff but there is also these things which cause you a lot of headaches that other thing you won't believe this um approximately approximately i had a call from a company from a furniture producer and I was asked to ask it to produce a mosaic work, which is a very small piece. I mean, I guess 90 centimeters by 50 or something like that. And they um, asked me to do it with uh, stained glass mosaics. So because of stained glass, it's not that heavy. And that piece is just a small piece. I thought I can do that. So I accepted actually not at that moment. I doubled up the price a couple of times because I really was focused in this kind of a thing over there and all the things right there. You know, I want to be uh, show up in art galleries all around the world. That's why I really did not, was not excited about this kind of a work. But finally, I accepted. I doubled the price a couple of times, as I told you, but they accepted it. And, and um, so what's the funny part about this? They sent me the half price almost one and a half months ago. And it's silence right now. For one and a half months, um, the contract was like, you know, uh, you pay the half price before I do anything. And then you have to send me the design, the original design, so I can start up and catch the colors and otherwise I can't imagine what colors I need, if you know what I mean. So I need the original design, but they didn't send me anything since one and a half months. And I gave them a call three weeks ago and they was like, yeah, we are still... I, I really don't understand these people. They paid the half price and it's a huge amount of money for that kind of a small piece and there are like, you know, nothing happened. So I have kind of amount of money on my bank account 
and I can't even touch it because I really don't know what's going on. So what I've learned from this, if you make art commissions, uh, I don't know who ever wrote in his contract like, you know, when you pay me and you don't have this work which you have paid for, for no reason. You know, it's okay when the work is bad. You ask, they ask you to make a Mickey Mouse and you make a Jimi Hendrix and then the client will of course say, I don't want to have this. I want to have a Mickey Mouse mosaic. So uh, I don't want to have that stuff. You can take it by yourself and uh, I'm not going to pay you the rest. But this is something completely different. Um, nothing happens, I couldn't even start because there is no design on the table. So means, what I've learned after this 20 years, if there is any client and wants to, any commissioner wants you to make a mosaic art commission or something like that, I should write in the contract about this issue, you know. Um, if you don't send me your design, in for example in one month then you're gonna how you can call that it's gonna be rejected I'm not going to send you that money back the same as in in shops you know you know how it works I, I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say because this English is not enough I know just um, try to get some connection with me um, in this case so that's a kind of an interesting point I, I always thought I had the best contract in art commission, mosaic art especially, because I did it, I'm, I'm doing it for 20 years, so I signed more than 300 uh, contracts already, and um, I have learned that um, this kind of uh, thing must be also in the contract from now. So as you are part of this art blog channel and you are means you are one of the art people which is so nice. I love you guys. As you have already seen, I finished that concert hall uh, and uh, what now? Okay, um, one more call I had uh, at, at the night where I was spraying that concert hall, you know the stencil thing. It came from Bozja Ada, you know that island where I made this one hotel with the mosaics and spray. I guess couple of last summer I made that, that cat museum over there. That hotel is at Island Bozja Ada. And there is another hotel called me a couple of days ago. He's asking me if I could do a mosaics for their new hotel uh, entry entrance. And um, it looks like a huge piece, not that huge. Uh, two by three meters or something like that. It's about... Um, a map, an old map with fishes, not fishes, ship, with a lot of ships. But I guess, as I understood, it's an, uh, an old map of that island, I guess. He asked me for the price and I should first um, check the design. This is exactly what, I'm, what I will do tomorrow. I will um, take a look and maybe I will drive to that island on Monday. I will take you guys with me, if you mind and uh, it could be interesting so we could take a look at the whole mosaic stuff that i made at the hotel bozja ada is that hotel call it where i worked in the past where i made the mosaic and stanza commissions and we can take a look at the new hotel which has called me um, i guess it will be kind of a topic like where we can place mosaics in a hotel it's a good case you know i'm holding this thing and I'm damn tired right now. Holy crap, you wanna see that? But it looks so good, look at that. I can't take it even like this, look at this. You see that thing? Hold on. I'm holding it with this uh, huge thing here. Wait, excuse me. It's more comfortable somehow. Oh. 
Okay, I was running with this thing here. Anyway, it looks, uh, it looked good to me. I really miss to work on this. I say it each time, I know. So I don't want to waste your time with this. Um, Cause we are artists and we're talking about art or we are creating art. Be sure to subscribe if you want to be a part of the art people community, whatever. Um, be sure to subscribe cause it's every day. Peace out.